Hello, welcome back to the last and final episode of Sarah Brown's Saga. I have, in fact, decided that this is a great point to let Sarah retire peacefully into a life of solitude uh, and whatever else she decides to do. We do have a couple more things that we could wind up doing that we really haven't touched. Uh, one of the things would be genetics, anything with doing mutations. We really have not touched anything with mutations. I'm sure there are a thousand and one more CBMs to get to, uh, but at a certain point, it just becomes a matter of grinding those out and finding them in the world uh, around us. So I think, you know, to save us all a little bit of sanity, we're going to say uh, we're, you know, that's something that she would be doing over time in the future. And honestly, I still might keep this save. I think I can even put the save in a different spot. Oh, we could go into the mine entrance too. <laughs> that's horrible and death divine. Um, but yeah, we could wind up doing more exploration with her and I might come back to it. Maybe I'll come back in, um, I don't know, a couple months and just try to move Sarah around somewhere. But by and large, I think that if you've managed to last this long in this game, you're doing just fine. I, you know, to be fair, we really did have the difficulty set pretty freaking low. Uh, we did have... Actually, let me double check the world mods. You can get a feel for where we were at. Active world mods right now, we had um, disabled NPC needs. Not that we really met too many NPCs that we were able to play with. We did keep uh, Dino Mod on, things like that, mutant NPCs. Mundane Zombies was the big one that evened everything out. So, Mundane Zombies, along with no ants and bees, made life a lot easier for us. And I know that's uh, that helped me out, just kind of understanding and learning the game. And I'm really excited because I feel like I got a really great handle on what Cataclysm has to offer. Um, next time around, I do think that we're going to wind up going with something a little bit more challenging. So, we're going to keep the, the default zombies on. I mean, really, this game can go on forever, though. Look at how much of the map is still unexplored. We could just set out... And, you know, go for a super mega long time. But I think at a certain point you have to call it uh, a wrap in terms of just how long the Let's Play is going. So, um, by and large, we did pretty well. Let me take a look at what we kind of we uh, rounded out the world with. We got a superific uh, intravenous. I think we had some pretty decent CBMs already in us, right? Uh, internal climate control, joint servo, adrenal adrenaline pump. Did we lose or did I dissect and screw up one of the CBMs that was our... I think it was the ethanol burner, but the ethanol burner was a problem because it would have given us an addiction because we were, or we did have addictive personality. But Sarah's going to be ending her Let's Play on uh, 15 Intelligence, which is not too shabby. She is, what else is going on with her? She's very encumbered, of course, but she has a pretty good stat. Look at that, 11 driving, 10 fabrication, mechanics, survival, all incredibly high. I would have liked to have gotten the first aid a bit higher. I think with first aid, what somebody mentioned in our chat i'm not sure if that was dread or uh one of our other folks um who was helping out i'm not sure if that was first aid which was supposed to help you dissect the enemy corpses and get bionics out of it or not but that, i think that might have had an effect uh, but sarah can stay here with her lovely chickens and maybe i'll send her out i don't know i hate to get this far and then have her die for some silly reason you know what i mean um so by and large i think we've had a pretty good run with sarah uh, I don't know what to do with this episode, though. We, I could sit here and unload everything. I could try to take her to somewhere to get her in trouble, but I don't really want to do that. I don't want Sarah to die a horrible death. One question I did have, were we ever able to make a Minesweeper? No. Someone mentioned that a Minesweeper might be in the game somewhere, and either I didn't find the book for it, or it is an item that is maybe in a different build. Uh, the other item that I think I never did get to is that stupid dang bio diesel or whatever that was life with biodiesel um able to make our own you know biodiesel equipment i think if i did stay here though i would probably work on getting the farm up and running the only other thing i would like to do is honestly have an npc friend because that's the one thing i didn't really get to try this in this let's play so in the next whatever next let's play we get into you know, with sarah brown i will probably have an NPC that I try to get right away. And that's it's going to be one of my requirements to let the Let's Play continue, is to get an NPC, uh, have them as a follower, and get ourselves a lovely camp. But otherwise, Weather Reader CBM, there's our ethanol burner. <laughs> we could install the railgun as our weapon on the truck. How did we ever finish off with our truck? We had heavy-duty armor all around, uh, military composite plating on every single tile, <laughs> the enhanced electric motor, which is pretty much going to die out, along with our mini reactor with barely any plutonium left. I think that the biodiesel, if you're if you're able to get to a farm and get all of the farming items out, you know, get get your stuff planted and whatnot, 
you're really going to, how much zucchini do we get? Three zucchini per plant and then more seeds from there. Um, yeah, I, I bet if you're able to get all of the wheat or whatever you wind up having um, planted, harvested, it, with the biodiesel, that's really the way to go, especially if you're able to find a farm like this. And honestly, I think I'd even, from here, probably try to make a ghetto um, planter. Because I, I think that was one of the items you could actually put on... How can we do that? It's supposed to be... Can't install any part here. Can't, we, can't we do anything on there. What about the... Um, is it a, a, a sower, maybe? I know I didn't I didn't even spell planter right. I don't think they're an option because we don't have we have too much stuff on the tile itself. But that would be a, a, one of the items that I'd be curious about. <laughs> I'm I'm obviously tired. I can't even spell planter or anything right. But I, I did see the sower equipment on uh, multiple farm vehicles. I know that's a possibility. So I think you know building our own sower or maybe a a, a combined sower a harvester would be kind of cool. All, all the chickens loose over here. Holy crap, that's where all my chickens went. <laughs> they all got free. Little bastards. How dare you escape my uh, my prison cell. Why don't we take a little bit of a drive? I guess we can go over near the National Guard camp in the morning. And I think what we'll do is uh, see if there's anything to kill. Just to have a little bit more fun tonight. I don't want to make this a super mega short episode. It will be a bit shorter than average. Uh, but I don't really think I want to get Sarah into a position where she's going to just blow up and die. I think we can take care of the drones that are outside of the National Guard base. I would love to explore the National Guard base a bit more, but I think unless we were, until we find a way to safely disarm mines, there's no other way to, how, like, how are we going to take care of that? How are we going to basically explore when there's no real safe way uh, to take care of the, the mines that are planted around the base? So that's that's my big concern. But yeah, let's, uh, let's head over to the National Guard camp and let Sarah do one last run around town let's do evh for headlights she had such a great run honestly i'm very excited with this let's play i had a blast with this and the character the funniest part is this character was not min max at all i think she started out with national guard so the most we had or the thing that i was excited the most about was the fact that i had a national guard backpack the you start out when you're national guardsman you start out with the military rucksack which gives you a ton of storage so that was our our big uh, our big bonus for, for our Let's Play start. We'll take Sarah back over to the National Guard camp through Bristol. Uh, it's skidding around, really? Fair enough. We got outside here. I can't even help myself. Even though we're about to, like, wrap things up, I'm like, ooh, what's this? What's this? Uh, it'll never change. And honestly, it's like an addiction. You have to stop and see. You gotta stop and smell the loot roses. All right. Let's uh, not run into a building step one. Listener zombie, decayed zombie. What do we got going around the base here? Oh, we're still in town. Where are, the, are all of my military guys at? Let's slow things down just a bit. Make sure I don't get nuked. There's one of the W11B10s. You're further into the base. These guys must be spread all over the base then. Holy crap. I wonder how we could get rid of any of these barricades. Impassable column. I wonder if we'd have to have something like a... I don't know. Do we have to have... Oh, where's my camera at? Turn on. Oh, my camera system is on. It's just in the middle of the morning. Let's go ahead and back up until it's uh, a little bit early, or later on. Do we get shot? From the southeast, you hear kerblam. I don't think we're getting shot at. I think it's just a, a, a giant nuky looking type zombie. Okay, fair enough. Let's just wait here for a minute. Uh, but yeah, I don't think... How can you take out that column? I honestly have no idea. I'm curious. I would like to see an, a solution to taking out the columns in order to get into the military base. There we go. How are we doing on electronics or electricity? 45%. Uh, we're still fine. We're, we're, we're good. The W11B has disintegrated for some reason. There we go. Popped him good. We'll just clean up the trash around the outside of the base. I think this could be a little dangerous, but honestly, with, with the strength of our vehicle, I'm not really concerned with uh, what's going on around the outside of the base. Um, we're going to be hitting forest here. Let's spin around and go into the main entrance. God, what can kill a column? 
I think we tried even getting out before, didn't we? We did try to get out and uh, do the deconstruction. That didn't work out. Let's turn our turret off. You know what? No, that's fine. We'll leave it on for a minute. We'll just avoid some zombies if we can. We did try to get out and do the um, disassembly, and that didn't really work out. Maybe a jackhammer. That would be the only other thing I have an idea about. A jackhammer or... We tr I think we even tried the sledgehammer, didn't we? And that didn't really work either. Are we still okay on pa power? Yeah, we are. I don't really want my vehicle to uh, completely run out of gas right as we throw up to this base. Make sure we're not about to run into some super mega tank thing. Kind of. It's about the closest thing we have to the super tank. I don't know if I should even go any further because of the minefield here. Yep. Pretty much the same general thing. Wait, did we already go on this side or no? I think that was the other National Guard camp, and it's pretty much the exact same style. So we'd have to get through the tank trap, and then we couldn't turn in time to avoid the sand pit. And then farther up here is going to be another uh, main entrance that's blocked off. So there's just, yeah, there's just no way to get your vehicle into base. And I am not brave enough to take Sarah into the National Guard camp by herself. Um... I'll tell you what, guys. Let's go ahead and go up to one of the labs. I totally said I'd be safe, but, you know, that's how that's how I roll. Let's take Sarah up to one of the uh, the science labs. That'll be her final hurrah. We'll see what's in uh, the CBM room for both of those laboratories. Maybe we'll try to get over to the, um, the library on either one. And that'll be our final go-round. I think I'm also going to switch back to my electric... Sorry, my um, diesel engine here. Oh, never mind. We totally have the um, we totally have the reactors available right now. We'll just spin the reactors up a bit. We're not going to care about that long term. Okay, home sweet home to the laboratory we go. Uh, we have to get over here with our hack. Someone also told me um, when I was first trying to hack into the military compound, if you actually use the proper ID, you won't get the turrets. Which I don't think I had before. Let's see if we have any science IDs from all around us. Uh, ID, military science ID card. Cool. Let's grab a couple of... Oh, we only have one left of each. So we'll grab that. We already have our electro -hap, uh, electro hack ready to go. Let's also grab the railgun. Uh, let's also grab the... Do we need any either of these? I don't think I care about either of these two. Helping you fall asleep. Maybe the soporific. For fun. Uh, we do have the ana uh, anesthesia kits. Do we have any more of those at all? First aid kits. No, just the first aid kits. We'll grab one of those just in case anything horrible happens to Sarah. Uh, one, please. Yes. And we've got ammo pouches right now. We've got our gear in good shape. I think we're pretty well set. We want to wear... Are we still wearing the cold stuff? Uh, yeah, we still have on all the winter gear. All right. Let's try to get in here. I'm going to open this from the side. All right, we don't see anything in here. Let me turn on my headlamp real fast, too. Okay, no, I don't think there's actually anything really in the first upstairs buildings or the upstairs rooms. Why is there a computer right there? Is there a turret in the corner? I'm concerned and confused why there's a, a computer. Let's take a look. Bypass security, view research logs, download map data. Okay, view research logs, hack into system, uh, discuss the possible implications of widespread contamination, neutralization. Okay, is this where they started it? That's funny. Anomalous archive access detected. Oh, crap. Um, it's telling me that there was anomalous activity detected here. Okay, are they going to spawn something? I don't see anything that spawned. They gave me a warning, basically, that said, hey, we detected you doing something funky, I think. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look downstairs. Please don't be anything horrible. There's a blob downstairs. That's pretty much it. Fair enough. Uh, a bunch of zombie dudes. Where, oh, where are we going to find our lovely... I think I'm just going to let the blob dudes fight it out.
generally speaking, I think that the... Let me go ahead and sprint through this guy here. I believe the um, CBM room is somewhere right around the corner. I think it's always relatively in the same spot, like right around here somewhere. There we go. Screw you with your lack of opposable thumbs, my friend. Do you have a map of this area? No, we don't. Huh. So I guess that not every science lab... Oh, God. How did I miss that? Or how did I not get shot by that? Holy crap. I guess not every science lab is designed the same. Hello, my cyborg friend. I don't think you have any weapons. You're just a punchy cyborg. Okay, we've reached the barracks. Let's go ahead and try to hack into this. Uh, lock disabled. Okay, cool. Uh, quit and shut down. What's in the barracks? Are these going to be weapons and ammo? Oh, sweet mother of God. <laughs> uh, is that a Hulk? Or is that just a Kevlar zombie? That's just... Oh, it's a Kevlar Hulk? Are you kidding me? Well, that's exciting. I don't think I've ever seen a Kevlar Hulk before. Yeah, let's get the heck out of this area. We're going to keep a nice bit of distance between us and our hulky friend. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. He's not taking any... Okay, so he's starting to take a little bit of damage. God, you are a nightmare. Look at all the headshots we're doing. <laughs> oh god, that's terrible. Um, store an item. Oh god, please don't come kill me. I'm sure Sarah could take him hand to hand, honestly, right? We should wear him down and let her kill him hand to hand. Good night. Malfunctions. We have to reload it? No, I think we have to just keep firing. <laughs> Screw you. Just die. Oh my god. Block 19, leather armor, corpses fresh. Holy crap. <laughs> Can we butcher him? I don't think I really want to, but I'm just curious if that would net us like a billion meat. Just because of how big he is. Okay, so what is in the barracks? He asks after uh, unlocking all the horrible things. Uh, weapons, ammo, armor, army stuff here. We'll get a couple holsters. Uh, maybe I shouldn't open them and face plant it. Close quarters fighting manual. I think we've got a lot of this stuff here too. There's some movement over to the other room. So I'll take a look at those in just a minute. There might be... Pack practical Escrima. Lovely. Uh, there's another office here. What is this going to be? This is a uh, magazine entrance. Yes. Oh, God. We just got shocked. No big deal. I think this got disabled temporarily. I might wait 30 minutes to see if it unlocks at all. Otherwise, it's just kind of basic stuff. So the magazine's where we're going to have all of our uh, lovely ammo. So let me just wait it out. All right. Well, unfortunately, I failed my hack. So we shut down the entire console. We were so close to getting into that room, but... We'll keep it legit. We won't do any cheatsy dually now. We've come so far, and uh, we've been so clean for so long, so we're, we're going to keep it that way. What's in here? Uh, no, thank you. Farewell. You know, Sarah's really not even that strong. We're mostly relying on our awesome vehicle of power. What are you? Uh, bionic access. Oh, hey! There's our room. Uh, manifest. We've got... Oh, my God. Metabolic interchange. That's the one we want. That's going to give us power when we eat. And, and the mini flamethrower won't be bad either. Please don't screw up. Please don't screw up. Nice. All right. What? Where's the storage at? Oh. <sighs> okay. By the way, I'm like 50% positive, which is not really high, that... Ah, oh, crap. If we... You prepared your survivor mask. Okay, it's active. If we fail this, I'm fairly sure... That a bunch of bionic goo comes down and drops into the room and you start to get killed. Oh, man. We lo we didn't have any of the uh, CBMs in here. What a bummer. Let's peek downstairs. Nothing downstairs. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive I've had that happen in one of my Let's Plays. Or my, my, my pre uh, playthroughs in general where I opened this room. I kind of started smashing the window. And a like a, it showed up like you've been boomered, basically. And a bunch of gook came down and made my character stuck. And then bad things happen to me. I'm not sure why we're not getting shot at. Not that that's the worst thing in the world. So how far into this do we want to go? Do we want to go all the way? Or do we want to just do a casual exploration of this bunker? You know what? Maybe far enough to get this. Which might be... Ooh, the Bionic Vault. Lovely. Yes, please. Unlock entrance. Console shuts down. I hate my life. 
<laughs> I really do. Uh, oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> I thought that was like... I thought it was an actual completely safe area to go through. How much did we just get shot? Holy crap snacks. We just got shot for 36, 22, 119, 12, 13. Alright guys, let's play is over. Sarah's going to retire right now with no more threat. <laughs> um, Are we super stuck here? Can we sprint past this at all? Oh god. This is horrible. It's not even a door. What? What is this? This is a closed glass door. Yeah, impassable my ass. Ah. <sighs> I think I might have gotten myself a bit screwed. What if I turn my headlamp off? Of course the room is lit. By the turret. Oh, I am so... I'm so absolutely screwed right now. <laughs> How... Do we get out of here? I didn't bring a grenade. I think we used all of our grenades when I was trying to blow up a turret once. So, nothing going there. I can't rightly use my uh, mini flamethrower. I don't have any special powers because I have no energy. So I can't even turn the joint servo on. I think this is actually slowing me down. Wait, what? We have no power. I don't think this is going to work, right? Uh, how do I get more information about these? Hang on, let me go back to that again. Uh, P, exclamation point to examine, joint servo. When it's offline, it will hamper your movement as you struggle against its moving parts. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, I think we have to sprint past it. That's like the only option, I think. It wasn't the worst thing in the world, but if we get shot in the head again, we're screwed. All right, here we go. Sarah, take a breath. Let's do it. Oh, God. All that hype for nothing. Okay, you know what? We had fun in here. We're going back upstairs where it's nice and safe and everything doesn't want to kill us. <laughs> we're going home. All right, guys, I'll meet you back on the surface. And uh, we'll try to get Sarah back over to maybe the other lab just to check it out. And then after that, we'll send her back home. I think that might be a good point to wrap the episode as our final exploration adventure with Sarah Brown. And uh, yeah, I've had so much fun with this playthrough. This is probably uh, right up there with, uh, not quite up there with Kenshi. Kenshi was uh, pretty, pretty crazy. But it's uh, it's been fun in its own right learning this game and having all of my horrible decision making come back to bite me in the arse. But yeah, thank you guys so much, as always, and I'll be right back in just a few moments. Alright, we are at the second lab. I went ahead and taken a nap, and we are trying to snipe uh, this random turret here, because I had to use my electro hack, and the game did not appreciate that, so I'm trying to... Tara, what are you doing with me here? Let's reload. I wonder at what range... You know what? Why am I even bothering this? Why do I... Oh, you know what? <laughs> we can't get... Back in our truck. Okay, there we go. We got the range on it, and it's not being able to shoot at us from here. Why is she reloading so quickly? Is she doing like a... Um, an automatic? Oh, crap. All right, let me apply... I have to finish this off with my Glock. I can't even get back in my truck right now. <laughs> oh, no. Do I have no ammo in the Glock? <sighs> I can't have nice things. Uh, what is this IDW? Let me take a look before I shoot it, just in case it's something horrible. Uh, ceramic super alloy handgun. Oh, Jesus. Holy crap. All right. What in the world was this? Or was that just the explosion? 5.50 millimeter flechette rounds. Yeah, okay. Armor piercing flechette cartridge. Sure. That sounds fine. Nice and safe and whatnot. Um, yeah, so we did have a... Turn the headlamp back on. We did have a turret waiting for us. We might have another one farther in. Which makes me mildly nervous. Okay, I think we're okay. We'll peek when we go downstairs to make sure that we're not about to drop into a room with a turret. No, we're safe there. So let's go down. Uh, the goo room. Is it super smart to get in here with barely any kind of ammo? No, not at all. But you know what? Sarah, be brave, my friends. Uh, lovely. Room with a turret and a bunch of zombies. Let's go ahead and run through here. 
I wonder how the flechette would do at close range. Nice. What are you? A skeletal brute? Yeah, no thank you. Alright, I think I'm going to move around until I'm able to find the... Uh, either the CBM room or the library or something else, and I'll be right back. Oh, look, that took me less than no seconds. Um, prisoner containment. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go ahead and try to hack in here. Wonderful, I'm glad the lock is disabled. Oh, is this all it really is? Just some basic level zombies? I think I'm okay with not knowing, honestly. That's one of those secrets of the world that I don't think I need to worry about. Let's, uh... Try to get out of this room before it shoots me. Lovely run through. Oh, God. You got some filth on your disinfected head. You're slammed against the concrete wall. Oh, you hurt. It's not just uh, brute for fun. You're a legit brute. Oh, crap. This is a dead-end room. Well, that's lovely. What happens if these guys step on one of the slimes? Will they trigger? Oh, they did, in fact. Uh, he stepped in a puddle of goo. <laughs> Can we leave here, please? <laughs> Of course I do something that's absolutely terrifying as my last act on Earth. On uh, on the um, Let's Play here. It would have been nice to get into the hydro uh, hydroponic stuff. And I think I will probably in the next Let's Play as well. Uh, that's going to be something that has a little bit more... I don't, I, I, we did find some of those farms. Like they had the... Um, what did they have? They had the... Kind of the, the greenhouse. Which actually would be kind of cool. Those farms are the ones I'd love to try... And explore a little bit more down the road. Weren't you the room with the turret? You were. Dang you. I could try to kill it from here. I think I've got the range on it. Definitely not the thing I was trying to shoot at. Did my shot bounce off? It's actually pretty impressive that the round is, is uh, firing off of the turret. Okay, there we go. We, I was going to say, we blew up one before. I want to make sure we can try to do it again. So let's see, what does this have? Is this just the security console? I think I'm going to not take my chances on triggering anything horrible. You know what, my friends? I think we've, uh, I didn't really see too much else. We didn't really go too far into it, but honestly, I'd rather not push my luck. We've, uh, we've gone around in science labs from time to time. It would have been cool to see another one of those, um, CBM rooms. But by and large, I think I'm kind of happy with where we are. <laughs> I really am. I don't want to push my luck and thus get Sarah nibbled into a fine red mist. So... My friends, I think this is going to be it for Sarah Brown's Let's Play. It's been really fun. I've had a blast learning Cataclysm. I want to uh, especially thank uh, Fun Socks and Dread from our Discord community for helping me out, as well as all the other folks on this uh, channel in the comments and the Cataclysm Discord as well. Lots of great folks in there. If you are a fan of Cataclysm and you play the game often and you kind of keep up with development, I would highly encourage you to join the cat the official Cataclysm discord which you can probably find in the cataclysm subreddit i believe but otherwise here's our following or are the final stats we are uh sarah brown female of course with uh, a little bit of pain so our intelligence a bit lower but yeah i had a lot of fun and i hope you enjoyed the series and i hope you've uh enjoyed helping me struggle bust my way through it um thanks again so much guys i will get back to cataclysm sometime down the road as another let's play i honestly might wait until build E comes out whatever they're going to name build e that way we've got all of the official things that are currently in d and like the experimental stuff so we'll come back maybe and uh see what life is like in the next version thanks so much my friends as always if you guys are just new to the channel or um i mean you probably subscribed by now if you're all the way on this video but hey we also have a discord if you want to join up and chat we have a discord with the cataclysm channel as well if you want to ask any questions or learn the game and if you'd like to support content like this i do have a patreon uh, that helps me pay the bills while I make these kinds of videos. So I would appreciate your support. Thanks guys so much. I appreciate you as always. And I've had a blast. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you forever. Go ahead and head home. Back to your farm to retire to a life of peace and prosperity. Take care.